Is this not the best? Like, this is pretty amazing. It's so I can good. We're using them oh. at the same time. So nice. Kind of my dream. Oh, hi. I mean, can you really? <laughs> These double sinks, twin sinks as we're calling them, yes. is what started this whole 79th build. It did. You know that? Yep. Welcome you guys back to our YouTube channel. Kylie, Ray, our lead designer, and I are here to walk you through another incredible build that we have built from the ground up. This one is packed, I feel like, with a lot of different details mm -hmm. than we've shown you before on house tours. So uh, we're excited to show you around. We're gonna walk you through every single space and try not to leave anything without you seeing. <laughs> So in today's house tour, we're starting in the kitchen because I feel like this kitchen packs so much punch and it's so different than anything we've designed before. So we want to spend a lot of time in here and give you some more sources and some more materials that maybe we don't always get to in our house tours. Yep. So we started with the double sinks, the twin sinks as we're calling them. I always wanted twins. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't, but sinks are good. Yes. <laughs> twin, twin sinks are good. Those are good. Um, and then what other details did we, like take me back. I'm trying to remember when we were all designing together. I think the kitchen's where we started. Totally. The first concept of the entire house when we designed the, this whole project together. So um, one big risk for us in here that you'll notice, this kitchen is all the same color and it's a very balanced, blue gray, um, which is something we wouldn't normally do in a project. We have never done a blue kitchen. Yeah, that's a we huge risk. We have never <laughs> done a blue kitchen. Yeah. Um, yeah, but what's funny is um, when we were installing, I think a lot of people were like, you call this blue? I think yeah. a lot of people can see this as more gray, yeah. but to me this feels, it's blue. it does feel very yeah, blue. It's blue. Um, and then another thing you'll notice, there's a lot of stainless steel happening in here, um, which is also something we don't usually do. Right. So um, the stainless steel appliances paired with this gigantic stainless steel hood, you can't miss don't that. You wanna come in? Come in. Yeah, come see a little more. Come in. <laughs> So we built this project in partnership with ENS Builders. We call them our builder besties because we've been working with them for over 10 years. And they really are friends of yeah. ours and they trust us explicitly. And when that happens, that kind of magic that builds between your dream team of designer and builder, this kind of stuff ensues. So this house started as a spec project and then one of our existing clients um, bought it. And if you want all the details on how that went down, you can watch the tell-all as well on this project. So um, I think our client was a little worried that this kitchen would feel dark. Um, and we hear that all the time from clients, yep. like people are super afraid of a cabinet that has any color because it's gonna feel dark. Mm -hmm. um, and we intentionally stray away from white kitchens where we can. Um, and this is definitely one of those times where we were like, we really don't want a white kitchen cabinet. We want to make sure that it feels moody and earthy. And when we designed this, there was no client in mind. This was a spec build. Um, and when our client came in and she wanted it, one thing she asked us about is, do you think that we should switch to a lighter countertop? A white vein marble. <laughs> a white vein marble. Shocker. <laughs> and we were like, no. <laughs> yeah, no we don't. Um, no, and then I'll bring you to the sink. We were like, we do have it in one place and one place only. Mm -hmm. um, we chose to make the apron front of the double sinks to kind of create this, um, more highlight a, yeah, yeah highlight this area um so you see it on the apron front here but we really wanted the contrast between the black mist toned granite countertops and then over in here this is called um ivory white honed another quartz material um, and it's just super balanced and beautiful mm -hmm. and pairs off the the blue cabinets well and earthy and we did this you guys this is a 2cm countertop so if you're trying to recreate this in your own home or you're designing for a client this is the actual thickness of the countertop two centimeters and then what ends up happening is we miter the edges and create this big beef so the countertop is not actually this thick countertops this thick and then we basically make an edge on it and then build it up so it can just sit really nicely in there. Have to make sure that your cabinets are also on board with that because if you tried to do this with regular cabinets, your cabinets would come to here and then you wouldn't be able to do that because your countertops would be super high. So make sure you're considering both your cabinets and your countertops at the same time. So in addition to that, so countertops is a big one. Mm -hmm. Kylie already mentioned the stainless steel, but we love it. And we weren't sure. Yeah. We really were not sure. Like this thing's huge, you guys. Look at this for scale. Like. And this is one yeah. giant sheet. One, one single sheet of stainless One steel. sheet. We've got our Wolf 48 inch pro range that we love so much. Beautiful pot filler, Calcutta marble backsplash. We continued the wood floors in here per our client's request. Mm -hmm. But if you follow me into the, the prep kitchen, these are actually the floors that we wanted everywhere.
This floor right here was actually supposed to be in the whole kitchen, and we might be just a teeny bit bitter about bitter. it. <laughs> um, on the Project Tell All, we talked about how Jenny, our client who bought this home, was just a little bit uneasy about putting it everywhere. And we get that, so we gave her one, and yeah. we laid wood in the kitchen, which you've seen. So this is the flooring that ended up staying, thank goodness, in the prep kitchen. So we good. love it so much. It's large format, checker pattern, on a bias. So it just looks classic. And I think mm -hmm. this flooring really set off, well, one, the whole design, but as I said, ended up staying in here. Um, and I also want to say dirty kitchens are all the rage right now. And we actually just finished a project, our go big or go home proj, which you can also watch the house tour of where we talk about the dirty kitchen. Why didn't we ever call this the dirty kitchen? I think it's like too pretty to be <laughs> the dirty kitchen. I don't think we actually ever wanted it dirty. It's so like warm and inviting. This is where I like imagine like breakfast to yes. spend like the, the mm. first part of your day. Mm. I mean, you've got a Mila coffee maker right here, which is like mm. unbelievable. Ice machine, more appliances this way. I just like this is where you'll start your day and maybe even end your day too yeah. with like a warm cup of tea. And kind of more baking. Yeah. Like we intentionally did butcher block countertops here so that if you wanted to turn this into your baking station, you could. Um, lots of utility in function in terms of like glassware and plateware, but not so much in terms of cleaning. And I feel like the dirty kitchen in some of those projects is actually where they're going to clean and wash dishes. And here, like this was all for pretty, right? This is why this is why we we designed it this way. So you, mean you don't live with I know, olive stems of, of in your fresh sink olives. All the time? I mean, ugh, I would love to. I I'll spend my last dollar on floral budget. Agreed. Um, <laughs> so we designed yeah, this. The sink. Yeah, this as well. This was another one of the things that we really built the kitchen design around. Mm -hmm. So when you're designing a kitchen. Everything can't be a moment. Right. We said moment. moment. If you watch the project tell, you'll know why that's it's like a little moment inside counter. joke. <laughs> Everything can't be a moment, but every space should have a moment, even in a space as small, if you will, mm -hmm. as the prep kitchen. So this moment here in this space is definitely this. And so we designed this initially um, to pair with the floor, of course, and the cabinet color. We wanted corbels. This is a super simple, cost-effective way to really kind of help a space feel timely mm -hmm. in, in wherever you want More it. More layered. Yeah, exactly. Intention Intentional. Yep. Intentional. Intentional. Um, this is an antique brass T-bar faucet. And then the way that we designed this, we didn't want this to have a regular cabinet, right? We wanted it to have a little bit of its own identity. So when you're standing at the back of the kitchen and you're looking forward, you get to take all of this in. Mm -hmm. And also with the lighting, like it just kind of bleeds out into the main kitchen, which is so lovely. And again, mm -hmm. another reason why we can't call it a dirty kitchen. Right. <laughs> then um, Kylie designed the cutest little curtain you'll ever see. <laughs> I was so excited for this to get installed when our handyman got here. I was like, yeah. first thing you yes. do literally is, is put this the in. The first thing he did was this. Yeah, so it just hides the P-trap um, and sort of the guts of the whole sink down here. And then we've got this amazing vintage little pot. In addition to all of the beautiful aesthetics, this kitchen has so much storage. So I'm going to show you the appliance cabinetry design we put together in a minute, but I also want you to take in, what are we nicknaming this little situation? We coined the term for this, a produce trough. <laughs> so we've had these gigantic vintage dobles. We, this one specifically for like a couple of years. It, it's, it, yeah, like where do you put Literally like in this? our warehouse, just like, and this Waiting was the, for the perfect, perfect spot for it. When we put it in, we're like, is it gonna fit? And it fits like a glove. It does, it's perfect. And then we were debating on what to put in there. We were like, Produce. Right. Then we were like, do they eat carbs? I hope so, because we put a lot of tomatoes Lots of potatoes, here. onions. <laughs> Another thing that we kind of had to fight for, I'll say, mm -hmm. in the cabinetry design with the builder was this whole wall. So we wanted it to feel really built in. We really believe that when you pair stainless steel appliances with cabinets, they have to work seamlessly. So if I open these guys up, and our client hasn't moved in yet, so <laughs> they may not look like this for long, but each of these lockers opens on a left hinge so that you can have a separate shelf for every single appliance. Can you even? Like, I think I would just open these and just like- It's like an organizer's dream. Yes, just like die with how organized yes. and amazing. Like air fryer, um, food processor, mm. Instant Vitamix. Pot, rice cooker. It, yeah, but like how many do we have? I toaster, the whole thing. All the things. Oh, I'm like eating my heart out. And yes, I'm building my own house, and no, I did not give myself this. <laughs> and I'm seriously questioning. Next house. Why not? Next house, Next right. House. Next house. <laughs> So the pendants are vintage, truly vintage, mm -hmm. from Etsy. Um, if you're out there and you, you are intimidated by vintage sourcing or procuring, 
Honestly, Etsy is the best place to start. There are so many amazing finds on there. Very um, affordable. So affordable. You Wait have more. to be careful when you're sourcing plumbing or electric, anything electric from Etsy because a lot of the providers on there are from overseas or other countries. And so the wattage and the voltage and the actual plumbing trim is not in the same um, sizing as it is here in the US. So just make sure you're watching out for that. So that's a really, really good sourcing trick that can help give you really, really unique finishes without having to spend a ton of money. Mm -hmm. In the tell-all, Kelly asked me what one of my my favorite spaces were and I had two. This was one of them. Um, this dining room kind of came together in both the interiors and the hardscape. Um, one of the biggest things you'll notice is this gigantic mirror that we are standing by. Um, this really sets the tone and it's not something that we would ever usually no, do. we were terrified of this. And uh, actually when we revealed yesterday, remember the client, Jenny, when yeah. they went in they were like, it looked like a dance studio. Is that supposed to go in our gym? <laughs> yeah, um, but we did the strapping on it. It was supposed to be an antique iodized mirror. Um, the budget came back woo, way more than we thought it'd be. Whoopsie. So we ended up with a solid mirror and it just looks so stunning and makes the room appear much larger. And then next to it, because this is such a moment, Moment. <laughs> Moment counter. Um, we had to be really careful with what we put next to it. So I think we went back and forth when we were designing this and we initially were thinking like doing something way more contrasting and yeah. detailed in here and we we're like paired with the mirror, we needed to keep it simple. So And scale. Yes. Like look how big this sucker is, right? Like nothing can compete with this. Literally nothing. nothing. So let's acknowledge that yeah. and make this intentional. <laughs> also buzzword, buzzword. this tour <laughs> of this project. Um, and also feel aged, yep. right? In this particular project, the design kind of concept was East Coast, started as really truly East Coast, but then as a client came into it a little bit later than normal because it was a spec, it went from East Coast to kind of meets West Coast. So I feel like this is an area that definitely feels East, East Coast. Coast. The yep. hardware that we selected has a lot of detail in it. The, the beadboard. Beadboard, like for all of you East Coasters, you know this stuff's everywhere. Yep. Um, kept it simple with one shelf. Mm -hmm. Love that we had an opportunity to hang art. Definitely be thinking about your art placement even from the very beginning because it's truly spots that make the space and can instantly be changed. So let's say in five years she's over this, we can completely change it and really change the feel of the space with just the art. It's just such a beautiful space. It's so entertaining centric. If you haven't noticed, little lamps are in. If you find them, buy them and put them in kitchens yeah. and on countertops. This one you already can't get. Oh, <laughs> I know, and on, in bathrooms. Yeah, where yeah. was this thing from? So Zara can, Home. Zara Home. It's like $100. Can, if you can find it there, yeah. know now. Because <laughs> as far as we know, this is the last one. Yep. So in all of our homes, we always try to partner with architects that really find value in creating a family-centric, entertaining-centric kind of open space. This floor plan, I think, has done it so beautifully. So we wanted in the furnishings for, of course, it to feel inviting. Our clients, as we mentioned, are kind of East Coast meets West Coast, and they like it to feel casual and comfortable. Um, but we, of course, wanted to like layer the space in, in hardscape, so um, ceiling detail. This is my favorite ceiling. I think so too. Which Ever. is so <laughs> simple and probably done a thousand times, but yeah. I just love it. So again, that beadboard, chunkier beams than we normally do, smooth finished box beams. So there's no hand hewning in there. There's no characteristics. They are just painted beautifully white, the same color, which is Benjamin Moore Chantilly lace as the walls, all in eggshell. Um, and then as the eye kind of follows down, oh, you, you followed, yes. As the, eye, as the eye follows down, we get to the fireplace. Yes, which has this amazing Roman clay finish on it that just brings in a little more chalkiness and some earthiness rather than just painting something like a black or a charcoal color. You get a lot more depth there. Um, and then paired with this limestone yeah, fireplace. Ready? Ready? Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Are you gonna turn on? <laughs> It's a little too hot for this it's right now in Arizona, things, but, but I just the love time. Yeah, and I love that it's open mm -hmm. and it's got the herringbone brick in the back. It's for just sure. like such a beautiful fireplace moment. Um, but yeah, it's hotter than hell. Yeah. Um, so, one meh. thing I was going to say too with the Roman clay. So I feel like when we were designing this, we talked a lot about how 
we feel like a, the natural choice in a contrast would be like a black ship lab and that's still really beautiful but don't be afraid to go back to those textural finishes like it doesn't have to be wood and it doesn't have to be wallpaper it can be subtle but earthy and venetian plaster roman clay um, tadillacte all that stuff are finishes that have been around for hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of years, yeah. actually. Um, and you can definitely make that work in an urban and new home mm -hmm. and not have it feel super weird. So um, shut that thing off. I know. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna be sweating hot. in like two seconds. Um, this is another moment in the great room that we absolutely love. So this is custom designed steel and glass doors with this beautiful shelf moment. Um, we have a chair here for photography, but um, you'll be able to open this, of course, and it's beautifully styled. It's simple. If you like the accessories that are in here, they are launching on our website, www.thelifestyleco.com um, in January. So this client got super lucky and she got a ton of product that isn't even available yet in this install because we have it in the warehouse and we wanted her to feel extra special. So if you like some of this stuff, make sure you come see us again in January when you can order it for yourself. But it turned out to be such a moment, large scale. Um, think about the size of the pieces when you're putting them in there, of course, because I think that's really what makes it feel so, so lovely. And this pairs beautifully with this wall of windows. So I know the popular, very popular, design for windows is these huge nano walls and you saw them in go big or go home they're called nano walls they're called invisible walls they're called disappearing walls they're beautiful they are but they don't give a ton of architecture right and it takes a long time for them to open they don't always open the way they should we can have a better opportunity for scorpions which here in arizona we don't want this wall of windows adds so much architecture. We have double glass doors, patio doors that open up. They're so lovely and gorgeous and you still get so much light all the time. And you also get the mulling of the grids and it's, it's truly one of the most beautiful um, components I think of this floor plan. This entire window situation and every window and door in here is from Sierra Pacific Windows. They are our choice provider in windows. Um, and every single time we do it with them, we just get it right and it just looks so beautiful. So um, don't be afraid to do something like this versus kind of that whole nano wall of windows. Totally different look, different um, characteristics in both, but both really, really beautiful. So starting in the entry of the home, you'll notice what kind of sets the tone for when you walk in is this huge custom steel and glass front door. So we chose to do a single door here with these side lights and it allows you to let a ton of light in. So one thing that's not lacking in this house is all the natural light that we've got. So come on in, let me show you the rest of the space. Um, another thing you'll notice, all the walls in this entry are covered in molding. So we chose to do this box molding detail and then a crown molding on the ceiling cap. So kind of to make it a little more west, Coast is in the furnishings. We chose a really unique console piece right here that's got the light wood tones. We chose to feature our micro art collection, again available in our shop. We've got a sconce over here that kind of plays with the tradition but works in the space and goes with all the rest of the wall sconce details that we've got in the house. And then another big lighting moment is this big beauty up here. We actually put this in um, the bathroom of our 64th build and we were just saying how much larger it feels in this space and it's just so beautiful it's such a statement and I think it's perfect for walking right into the home and just kind of shows you everything else that's going on now this powder room in the home has a lot of stories behind it um, one of the biggest things being the wallpaper so again when the client um, bought this house, one of the things she wanted to change from what we initially spec'd was the wallpaper. So we, as trying to make this as East Coast as possible, went with a traditional Schumacher floral wallpaper that we were obsessed with and that was a big risk for us. We had to like talk ourselves into it. So when that was the one request that she had, one of the two, um, we were like, oh, like we really wanted to do that. But so we sent her a few options. We ended up with this. It's got a nice geo minimalist black and white contrasting line um, paired with this green pen tile floor. This is from Bedrosians and it's called the Makoto. It's just a great shape and plays well with the other features in this bathroom. And then if you come in a little more, we decided to put this um, bench over here because we wanted this bathroom to kind of feel like, you know, your favorite New York City restroom or the, um, at the back of the restaurant that kind of has some more hospitality vibes. And then we've got this amazing um, 
white quartz sink that's just floating. Pairing well with the lights, we chose to, um, to place two different lights in here. Initially in the original design, we had a James Bond print, you know, the infamous one with the cigarette in his mouth and he's drinking. And then we changed it back to West Coast and have this sort of line beachy print that kind of brings it back to the client. loves golf and so we wanted to make sure that we incorporated golf but not in a themey way. We really don't do themes. We also want to make sure that when you're making an investment like this in a kid's space or a teen space that it can grow with them, right? So no golf sheets but we did find some vintage golf clubs that we were able to hang on the wall here with a photo of his favorite course which is TPC Scottsdale right here in Arizona. He has his writing desk so he can do his homework. In theory, his mom said that he'll probably be at the kitchen island, but a beautiful desk here, a big fat king bed so that he can sprawl out for his growing body. This kid's like 6'3", so um, he needs a big bed. And something that I love the most about this room, Kylie was the lead designer on the furnishings and she came up with the shiplap wall that has this gradient color block detail. I have to say, getting shiplap right with a color block like that, that perfectly straight is like a trade miracle. So um, to Alex, who was the painter who did this with ENS, it looks so incredibly good. And you can actually see the paint like back in the shiplap, which is just incredible. So I love this detail. I love the cement um, plug-in sconces. The bedding just works together. You'll notice it's a bunch of different stripes. Stripes can work together as long as they have kind of a commonality between them. So in this case, I'd say they're all similar size, so similar width in stripe. Um, and then we have a lot of the same tones. So the blues in the stripes bring in the blue bed frame, the blacks and the greens bring in the black and cream rug, and it all really works together. And then each of these bedrooms in this house have an ensuite bathroom. So this bathroom um, is just masculine and playful and down on the floor, we have this penny tile moment that we'll never get sick of. It goes right into the shower. Plenty of room for him in the shower. He's gonna have a great time doing his hair before school um, and looking super fly in this kind of awesome room. Also down the secondary hall, we have a simple but sophisticated gym so our clients can work out at home, get their gym on, and then head right into the ensuite bathroom. You may recognize this tile lay as we did it many years ago in a similar format at our Sapphire PV Proj, also built by ENS Builders. This time we used Bedrosian's Allura tile in a 3x24 alternating color to get that really bold, impactful print. Ultimately, it's such a great oasis to be able to stay home and get fit. So this bedroom right here is really special to me because this lucky girl and I actually share the same name. So this is the second room that I've gotten to design for Kylie Ray, and every single time I've loved each one. So as she's gotten older, um, from the previous bedroom that she used to live in, I feel like what we designed here is like the perfect grown up version of it, something she can really grow into. She's gonna be in high school soon and um, I think that this just kind of gives her more of a mature adult vibe but still super playful. So this bed right here is like my favorite bed of all time. Um, it's actually something that we were waiting like 18 months for for another project, thought it was never gonna come in stock, thought we canceled the order, randomly shows up. So um, it was like meant to be when Kylie came into this project and we we're like, you deserve this amazing. Sherpa king size bed. Um, paired with this wallpaper, we went back and forth on a few different wallpaper options and landed on this one. And I think it's super playful, um, but still kind of a modern take in a nude color way um, and pairs really well with these window treatments. So all the window treatments in this house are by the Shade Store and they do a wonderful job. I'm always happy with their work. And this time we chose to get a little more custom in here with this border. So we've got the white linen on the top and then the bottom third is in this oatmeal linen. So we get that color blocking moment that's super subtle and not something that's in your face, but um, that still brings in a little more added pattern. And then coming over here, she's got French doors out to the freaking patio. Um, 
might be every dad's worst nightmare, but it looks great to me if she can just go run in the pool. She's got a little makeup vanity station over here, and then I'll take you into her bathroom, which is pretty cool. So in here, this also has a door that could act like the pool bath. Um, but so we chose, when we designed this as a spec, this we thought would be the actual pool bath. So we've got this Ardo tile that's this really cool pattern down here, um, and it had some more of an earthy concrete feel, paired with a blue cabinet, um, something that we don't normally do and I think it really it plays well with the colors that are going on in the bedroom and then also adds a little something a little unique in here um, this sink this was the sink in the tell-all that we talk about that Jason the builder tried to put a big black glossy sink and we were like no 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 that's not gonna happen so literally like three days ago this got switched out and it looks much better um, this light is one of my favorite lights I'm gonna try and turn it on for you but how cute is that? It's made of a ton of glass bubbles um, with one light bulb back there. But it's our favorite little bubble chandelier. Um, and it just, it's playful, but super unique at the same time. And we've got a timeless shower surround in here. Um, we have a four by four Mirazi tile that is broken with a liner. So you get, again, that striped pattern and a super subtle tone with a classic white penny tile floor. And it's a, not a bad place to get your shower on. What are we doing here? Working. Working. Just working. Is this office not next level? Like, I think we we haven't actually sat in here. I know. This is the first time we're actually sitting in here and it is so good. I know. I think I'd get a lot of work and like yeah, good, like good designs done, but they'd be very vibey. I'm in the zone. <laughs> okay, so what did we do in here? Well, number one, we're not gonna tell you the paint color. You have to watch the mm -hmm. tell-all if you want the paint color. Because we, we revealed it, it there. Right out in the open, we said the paint color was Bing Bang Boom by Bing Bing. Bing Bing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we do share the paint color in the tell-all. We went by being here on purpose. Rachel, actually, who's one of our lead designers, came up with this whole concept yep. and we just rolled with it from the second that, that she gave it to us. So um, big, beautiful, beefy chair. This thing is worth every single penny. So comfortable. Oh, so comfortable, I know. Um, big sideboard, which we always try to place in our offices so that you have a place for all that ugly stuff like your printer and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. um, office supplies, if you do that kind of thing. Um, tell me about the walls. So the walls, so you'll notice we painted all the walls, the crown, the ceiling, even the backs of those doors. And then, oh, thank you, Vanna. Amazing. So good. The painter's like, okay, so you want everything. Everything. Like, everything. Yep, do it up. Everything? Everything. everything. <laughs> um, so we did this box molding detail, and in each box we laid this grass cloth, which just adds so much texture, super dimensional, lots of depth. I think one thing when we designed this is in a lot of our other offices and our specs, yeah. they kind of tend to feel not forgotten, but um, not never maybe like fully too finished, yeah. a little too simple, because we usually leave them a little more simple because that's something where the homeowner is going to come in and maybe want to add custom cabinetry or do their own thing in here because we don't really know who that person is that's going to live here. So so when we designed this spec, we thought, let's like do it up a level, let's, let's make it happen, and we really did that. So there's a super big identity in here. This light fixture, um, we actually placed this in another project like three four, years ago. Yeah, three or four years ago. Yeah, and we never got to see it come to life, and it's just, it's perfect in here. I'm glad we, we waited for it to have its little moment in here. Um, and then the furniture fills the space, and I think it feels really full. There's still tons of storage, um, but overall, yeah, it just it it's got vibes. Down the hall is the laundry room, and while big laundry rooms are super on trend, this one is just the perfect size. It's got double stackable washer dryers, which I truly think are any person's dream. It has a beautiful farm sink that adds a little bit of age and richness to it and a ton of cabinets. I truly cannot imagine getting to do my laundry in a space just like this. No words. Let's have a moment. A moment of silence, please. This is our baby. <laughs> For this amazing bed. Oh, will you come home with me? Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. This Truly. is actually the third canopy bed we had to spec for this bedroom, and it worked out so perfectly. Um, when we initially designed this space, this was a black iron canopy bed, and that one got back ordered till never, and then the next one got canceled, never coming over the water. And this one we had to find in like three weeks. So. We were actually 
at another install in Arkansas and we were kind of figuring out, panicking, what, what are we gonna do? And we found this bed by Muskoka. Amazing customer service. If you go on their, web, their website, I think it's like a 16 week lead time because these are completely custom. But we reached out to them anyways and They're begged and workers. begged and they were like, absolutely, we can get it done for you. So it's amazing quality. It couldn't be more beautiful. We got to pick the fabric um, mixed with the white oak detail. I just, it couldn't be any more beautiful. Truly, <laughs> really, truly. Really. And one of the things uh, we look for in canopy beds, you'll see them for honestly as low as 500 bucks maybe on some of these big, big retailer sites. Um, but you're gonna wanna pay attention to the height. So one of the reasons why we had such a hard time finding a canopy bed was one, the ceiling height in here is really tall and our clients are also tall and we really want the canopy to be at least 84 inches. So that's seven feet off the ground. If it's any lower than that, it tends to feel a little too box-like and doesn't have much grandeur to it. So this one, really make sure that you're looking for height at least 84 inches. But um, another beautiful component of this bedroom and why it all works so wonderfully together is I personally feel like the double layered window treatments. So those are shears on the back, so the part closest to the window, and then um, a blackout linen panel in the front. As Kylie mentioned earlier, all of the window treatments in this project are from the Shade Store and they did an incredible job and truly make our lives so easy. So amazing trade partners if you're a designer out there and if you're a consumer, um, you can partner with them and they'll give you full service attention just like we would as a, as a design firm. So um, this bedroom's just so balanced and, and classic and I feel like it's both uh, masculine and feminine, which is where we get that androgynous feel. It's open, it's got statement art, it's got a floor length mirror, um, and it's, it's just a beautiful space. And off of this primary bedroom is, drum roll, drum roll. The primary the bedroom. bathroom. Yes. So I like to think we're kind of known for our primary bathrooms in a lot of ways, and definitely our tile selections and, and how we put tile together. In this house, I mean, there's gotta be at least 30 different tiles yeah. at a minimum, I think. If not more. Yeah, if not more. So when we were really trying to come up with a concept for this primary bathroom, adjacent, of course, to the primary bedroom, which feels really androgynous, we wanted it to feel the same, right? Equally represented, but kind of take it up a notch mm -hmm. where um, we wanted that East Coast feel, as we've been referring to for this project, to really come through here. So I think the space or the, the area that it comes through the most is in the shower. It feels weird to be in the shower with shoes on, but I'm going. <laughs> come, come see this thing. Um, it is so big. It's insane. The, this is roll plumbing, um, and it's, I mean, the, comp, the quality cannot be compromised. It's so incredibly beautiful. The brass just looks soft and, and again, aged, mm -hmm. age, but also, like, timeless. Yep. Um, shower surround, it, I cannot remember what it is. What is it? It's a sandblasted raven marble. So we saw this. We loved that it had a ton of characteristics and it had that really deep, almost kind of pulling from the kitchen color. Like it does, it can go a little blue, can go a little gray, can go a little black. black um, yeah. So it just has a lot of characteristics and really draws your eye in when you walk into this bathroom. And paired with the marble chair rail. Um, so and then we wanted to break the classic material of subway tile. So while this was really expensive, the marble, uh -huh. and the subway tile was really inexpensive, <laughs> um, it sort of balanced the two, work. yeah, the two out. And then the chair rail just breaks the two materials and kind of creates that blocking. And this design is another good reminder to stay the course. <laughs> Even as a professional designer with a lot of experience, Kylie had to talk me off the ledge a little bit here because when this first went in, it was bold. And we're not, normally super into bold and mm -hmm. like we knew that slash when I saw it go up I was like she was not she oh, was not into it my G like I don't know how this is gonna turn out how do you feel and I wasn't here in person and yeah. you were like stay with it it's gonna be good it's gonna be it's, good and then it's as it's come together it is like so mind-blowing um, we also did the shower floor in a hexagon, which is just classic, again, timeless, pretty much pairs with anything. You really can't mess it up. Your favorite tile. My favorite. It really is my favorite. Marble like, Hex. I, yeah, Marble Hex. I tend to put it everywhere. I'm sure it'll be in my house somewhere. Um, actually, right now it's not, because you keep talking me out of it. She's like, don't do that. You've done it everywhere. I'm like, I know, but I love it. It's just like hard to mess up. It's, yeah. just, it's, a, sa it's a safe choice, but I think if you talk to just about any designer, we're all like, it's in our back pocket. Yeah. yeah. A good one. A good one that go we wrong. like to go with. So, okay, back out of the shower. The floor here is something totally different than we've ever done. This is actually an outdoor exterior paver. 
So this is thick, it's 20 millimeters and it is completely outdoor safe. You really can't ruin it, um, you can't damage it. And so we laid it in a straight lay. The whole concept behind this floor is we wanted it to feel like cobblestone -y. We wanted it to feel indoor, outdoor, mm -hmm. like it'd been here for a long time, yeah. really Euro and earthy. And it so has done that. And paired with a sandblasted marble, it's just amazing. These, yep. we created this concept where we did the waterfall on either side. We again, roll plumbing right here. This is the wall mounted faucet. And Good it's luck. so beautiful. Here, you yeah. do it. <laughs> we just realized this, um, but when it turns on and then when it turns off. It has a soft it, turn off. Oh my God. Like, are you serious? So good. <laughs> it's worth it. You guys, these sellers yes. are expensive, but if you've got the budget, oh, do yeah. it. Cause it's so worth it. We love it. We it. absolutely love it. The cabinetry is from Highborn Cabinetry. They're right here out of Arizona and they're just fantastic. We pretty much do all of our stuff with them. Um, huge armoire again for storage. Um, another thing we always do in our builds is we put power in our armoire in, how can I say this? in our armoire cabinetry, <laughs> woo. <clears throat> Say that once. Um, so that you can plug in your toothbrushes or um, jewelry cleaner, mm -hmm. like, you know, the plug-in. Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. Apple, yeah, charging yeah. like, you can, you can put your things in here. So yeah. I love that detail. This little vignette is so just earthy and editorial mm -hmm. and beautiful. And like, can I get my shoes out of my closet and sit in my like gorgeous single chair and, Right. Come on. Ugh. I know. Um, and then bathtub moment. So this bathtub we had custom painted. It's beautiful. It's just a really earthy gray. So not too blue. Um, again, paired with the roll plumbing. Panels, who doesn't want drapery panels behind their bathtub? Mm -hmm. What? I know. Like, ah, oh, it's so amazing. And a floor lamp. Don't be afraid to use things in unconventional ways. Yeah. I don't think I ever thought we'd have a floor lamp by a bathtub, but I think it works so beautifully. Especially because um, we don't have a chandelier. Exactly. We chose that on purpose. Again, another intentional design move. Yep, intentional. Um, but we found this like a week, a yeah. week ago. Yeah, and we were wondering who was gonna get it, and now we just think it's- We hiked it on yeah. our back and <laughs> yeah. found it's home. Yeah, and now it's here forever. So yep. um, primary bath of dreams, not mad about any of the design choices and, and however it ended up for us and for our client. living space at the 79th build and it's so freaking nice it's and just inviting. yes like i want to entertain i want to barbecue i want to have a dinner party i think just the furniture kind of complements the space well you get tons of seating out here feels super comfortable exterior in this home we did the entire thing in borden batten and i love that that is another nod to the east coast I love that the pool is in the very center of the home, so you kind of get all these doors that open out to it. It's just so calm and and lovely and tranquil. Yeah, it feels and like a resort. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, I mean, you don't really need to leave. So the star of this backyard, I think, is definitely the pool. It's your new favorite. It really is. Every time, every window I look out, I, I find myself just like staring at the pool and daydreaming. I think the Pebble Tech color that we chose, it just gives the perfect reflection. It's like clear water. Um, it's sandy beach for those who may want to get this look at home. It just creates the most amazing backdrop. Oh my God, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's just Doesn't feel like the balanced. Caribbean, doesn't feel super Euro, which is kind of the way we tend to go. We tend to do dark bottom pools, um, but this is, I'd say the lightest that we've done recently and it just is so beautiful. The ledger loungers are, the led, ledge loungers? Ledge loungers. Ledge lounger, sorry, ledge lounger. We'll get it right next time, but <laughs> um, are so just kind of modern and give you that like great line that just yep. like is, ergonomic for your back and makes you want to chill in that Baja shelf. So is this a pool house or is this a pool house? It's such a great space and you could pretty much live out here. You really could. So I think their teens are planning on taking this whole space over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you've got a living space here and then of course a dining room and I love that it feels earthy beachy kind of, right? Yeah. So Kai, I think, really hit the nail on the head when she was explaining like Big Little Lies vibes, like Monterey, Northern California versus like Santa Monica, right? So a lot, a lot more earthy beach. Um, there's a powder room back here too that you'll see.
Now back in this kitchen, this guest house actually has a full working kitchen, which is pretty unbelievable. Um, but one of the things that I love the most are these really playful swings that we decided to add in here. So this was like a non-negotiable, it's attached to the house. Um, we designed this, I think before we designed even the actual kitchen in itself. Um, super playful, I think both adults and kids are going to enjoy these a lot. And then back in the kitchen, um, since this is a pool house, we wanted to keep the floors in a tile because this could um, double as a wet space. So we wanted to keep this super durable. If you're running in and out, you need to get some snacks. We pictured this. You probably could be like baking muffins in here, but you may be doing like frozen pizzas or stuff for the kids. So this is more kind of like for your guests and that's kind of how we styled it in here. Um, one thing I need to point out is this tambour hood. Um, tambour is the wood treatment that's on here and it's painted accessible beige, which is the same color as the cabinets, the shiplap, the shelves. We wanted to keep it all monochrome in that same color family. We've got a fridge, um, a sink, dishwasher. I think you really can't complain. They've just got it all in here. And off the kitchen, we have the guest bedroom. And let me just say, if I was a guest, I don't think I'd want to leave. Um, so kind of playing with what we did similar to the office inside the main house, we painted all the walls. We didn't paint the ceiling in here, but we wanted that to have that same like cozy vibe. So we did shiplap, shiplap about uh, three fourths of the way and then added this chair rail up top. That kind of just adds another layer and detail to the space. Um, you've got the windows on either side of the bed, which is just such a beautiful like architectural moment. And then a king size bed in here, which is awesome for any guests, good mother-in-law suite, your in-laws, parents, kids, um, anyone that needs to kind of stay, there's plenty of room in here. Um, we chose to add these bells on this wall because our client asked no TV. They don't want them to stay too long. So we didn't do a TV in here. Um, and then coming into the bathroom this way, this is one of my favorite bathrooms in the house. Um, and I think mainly it's because we had this custom white oak vanity made. So one of our custom cabinet, cabinetry um, providers made this for us and he did an amazing job. We designed this all from scratch and it just turned out so beautiful. We've got a gigantic mirror that really just takes your eye up paired with the marble hexagon flooring that is just so um, more sophisticated paired with this playful shower surround. So you'll notice in a lot of our designs, we love to do different, um, different designs with penny tile. This is a mix of a penny tile and a subway tile. And you'll notice that as it gets up towards the top of the shower, the penny tile gets smaller. And same as it gets lower, the penny tile gets smaller. So just a fun pattern in here um, mixed with the polished brass plumbing from California faucets. And overall, I think it just, it turned out so nice, natural light and one of my favorites. Okay, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here because we are giving the keys back to the proud new owners of our 79th build here in a couple days. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you loved it as much as we do. This is definitely a new favorite. Yep. Until the next one. Yeah. Bye. Bye. -bye.